Hi again. I hope you're well today. Thanks for joining me for this time of devotions together. I'd like to share with you something today about what I believe to be one of the very greatest gifts the Holy Spirit has to give us. And we can read about that in Romans chapter 8 and verse 15, where the Apostle Paul says this, You did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. To understand the magnitude of this great gift the Holy Spirit gives, this gift of knowing we're sons and daughters of God, that we've been adopted into the family of God, we, we must be very clear on this, that the, the Bible tells us that when we were born into this world through our natural birth, we were born as spiritual orphans. We did not have that relationship with God that he had desired to have with us because we were separated by our sin from him. But the good news is Jesus came into the world and took our sins upon himself. He went to the cross and died for us. He rose again from the dead and through faith in him, we're adopted into the family of God and we become sons and daughters of our Father in heaven. That's the great news. And there's many passages of scripture that give us this assurance. For example, in John chapter 1 verse 12, it says, But all who did receive him, Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Galatians 3.26 says, For in Christ Jesus we are all sons of God through faith. And I could read many more verses that give us this promise that through faith in Jesus we become children of God. And the scriptures assure us of that whether we feel like it or not. So you may wake up one morning and feel like you're far from God and you have no relationship with God, but if you're putting your trust in Jesus, you've got to stand on the solid rock foundation that the promise of God is through faith in Jesus, you're a child of God. But what is even more wonderful is when the Holy Spirit comes and fills us with his presence in such a way that we literally, in our affections, in our emotions, in our inner being, we experience the love of God for us as our Father. What a treasure that is. What a gift that is for us. So much so that we begin to burst forth with praise for our Father in heaven, saying, Oh, Abba, Father, thank you, Father interesting Paul uses the term Abba which was Jesus favorite term for his father in his native tongue of Aramaic it's a it's a word of affection for his father maybe you have a word like Papa or Daddy that you use of a, as a word of affection for your father maybe it's just my father when you talk to God you just want to say my father I love you I sense your presence that's the relationship God desires us to have, knowing that we're his children because of Jesus and experiencing the love of God in our hearts and in our lives, experiencing the warm embrace of his affection for us as his beloved children by the Holy Spirit. When I was about 18 years old, I was far from God. And I met a couple guys that had recently become Christians and they shared how through faith in Jesus they had found forgiveness of sin and been set free from addiction to drugs and other things. And, and, and I realized I needed God to work in my life. I needed to be forgiven. I needed to be set free. And I prayed that day and I asked Jesus to forgive me of my sins and I asked him to give me new life. And I felt a weight go off my shoulders, a weight of guilt and shame from my sin and my actions. And I felt I was forgiven 
and I had a lightness in my step. I just knew I had been heard by God, and because of Jesus, I had received forgiveness of sin. But a few days later, I later I got prayed for to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And that day I experienced the, the filling of the Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the, the, the drenching and flooding of my heart by the Holy Spirit. And I experienced the love of my Father in heaven in a wonderful new way. I experienced the warm embrace of his love. I experienced his presence very near to me touching me in the realm of my emotions and my affections. And I just wanted to praise him. I wanted to thank him. And I just began to praise him in the language of the Spirit, prayer language he was giving me right then. I began to praise him for his goodness. I wanted to say, oh, my Father, my Father, I love you so much. I wanted to share his goodness with other people, with a new zeal and a new desire. What a gift that was for me. And I can tell you many times since that day, many years ago, I have returned back and received once again that touch of the Spirit, that filling of the Spirit, and that warm embrace through the Spirit of my Father in heaven. We need that. We need it regularly. Could I just say today, why don't you take some time? Why don't you take some time and just let the Lord fill you by the Spirit with his loving affection for you? Just receive his love. Receive the filling of his presence in your heart and let praises flow out of your mouth. Praises to your Father who loves you. That helps us immensely as we step out into our world and share the goodness of Jesus with those around us. Take some time. Let him fill you with that awareness of his love by his spirit. God bless you today. Bye-bye.